Hello, my name is Jeremy Tamik. Here's a short video showing how to import properties using the RVT Metaprop add-in. This add-in uh, either modifies existing parameter values on Revit BIM elements or creates shared parameters to add new values. Here I am in Visual Studio with the add-in loaded. There's some code here for creating the shared parameters and there's the implementation of the external command which prompts us to select an input file, deserialize the properties from that file, remove some unwanted properties or check for missing elements and uh, then determine where to store these properties, possibly create new shared parameters for them and then um, actually apply the modified values to the BIM elements. Before we run it, let's have a quick look at the file format. Here's a recent file that I created on the Urban House test. You can see there are, this is a JSON file specifying the external ID, which is the Revit unique ID and the category ID, so-called category ID, this is actually the enumeration value of a Revit built-in parameter group on which to create the shared parameters to store this data. We've got text, double and integer properties with different values and now we'll restart debugging to launch Revit and execute this command. It prompts me to enable loading of the unsigned add-in. The model is loaded. Uh, the properties in the input file have been added to this specific and execute the add-in. It implements its own ribbon panel so we can if we want drag that out to see it better and click on the command. I select my input file. It displays a log listing what it actually did. It uh, lists the input file that I selected. The three meta properties were read in from that file and they were set on that wall that I selected. In Revit, if I click on that now, wall you can see that these three properties now have been added. I can also use uh, the Revit lookup add-in to snoop that element and if I look at its parameters I can see that those three parameters are listed here as shared parameters. Looking at the definition you can see they're added to the PG general parameter group type integer. So that's it. I hope you find this add-in useful. The Some aspects to highlight in it are it implements this ribbon panel, it implements an external command, it passes the CSV file, it uses a library to pass the JSON file, it implements a class to store the property information read in from the file. It implements another class to define what information is required to create the shared parameters. And it shows how to create a simple log file just from a list of strings and display that file after processing has completed so that we have an overview of over any problems that may have occurred.